Welcome back to our Afternoon Express Cook Along. I hope that you're definitely following on side by side with us. Now, if you would like to find out what's cooking in our kitchen and you would like to get the full ingredients list and recipe, just head over to afternoonexpress.co.za and you can be cooking up with us. Now, Tomi, I'm very excited because essentially today, Oneli has come with all of the health magic in the kitchen. We're keeping it light, we're keeping it fresh, but more than anything, we're keeping it economical. So what are we cooking now? So we're going to be making two different types of bowls. We're going to be making a spicy chicken bowl and then we're also going to be making a vegan quinoa bowl so over there on your side we've got uh, a selection of ingredients as well we've got quinoa which is also very good for you we've got black beans chickpeas sweet corn all of that that's going to be going into our bowl and then on our side for the people that prefer to have their protein in meat form we've got chicken breasts and we've also got basmati rice in place of our quinoa I love so that we're so giving people selection I'm so glad options. you looked after me today <laughs> I'm really am happy <laughs> I miss you that much. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so as we get cooking, I mean, I'm just going to start boiling my water here for my quinoa. Well, what I can suggest, whenever you're cooking quinoa, quin, quinoa, yes, quinoa, <laughs> quinoa, I always suggest for people to start with cold water, add the salt you and the, the, the quinoa in there and let it boil together. Because the other thing is if your water uh, uh, boils, you might end, end up overcooking your quinoa, mm. but it is also best to let it cook from cold water and then take it from there. Okay. Nelly's making the sauce for us or the dressing that's gonna go into our bowl. Um, what do you have over there? So basically it's just a very quick and easy dressing that we're doing today here. Mm -hmm. It's um, sriracha sauce, so a bit of spice there and mayo. So mixing that together, it's very simple. Just gives your food a bit of a kick if you like that. Okay. <laughs> I like a kick. I don't like a whole lot of kick. <laughs> so this is where the spicy part comes in for our chicken uh, bowl. We're not actually putting too much seasoning on the actual chicken. All we're doing is I just put a bit of oil in there because what I want to do is I want to get the natural taste of the chicken. And I don't know if anyone has ever eaten chicken without any spice, salt or anything like that. It actually has a sweet flavor. Wow. Nah, come on. Not sweet as in sugary sweet, but come you know sweet on. as in chickpea sweet where it doesn't taste bland. Um, you should try it, have, but, but make sure you are ready for it. So this is what we're doing here. We're putting the chicken as it is. We've got the flavor coming from our sriracha sauce and our mayo. Okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. Now when it comes to this meal, Nelly, when you had to think of the different elements to incorporate, is this essentially what we see you making every day? Yes, so chicken breast is definitely a part of my every day. Um, I think just because uh, um, just less fatty in there. It's a great way to get your protein in. Um, with, the, with your dish over there, um, I've included some chickpeas, some quinoa, which are also quite high in um, protein. Mm. So for the vegans out there who are not going for the chicken, they are still good to go. Love but that. But you know, Nelly, it doesn't look, I changed um, to vegetarianism last week, mm. last year, the 26th of December. It's nearly a year. Okay. And I still struggle to find a protein that satisfies me. Oh. Don't give me tofu. No, 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 don't give me tofu. So I'm really trying hard, but it's very difficult to get that same satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I get is a bit from cheese, perhaps some halloumi when you fry it or something, but I'm struggling. I think it's also a now because we've gotten so used to eating meat products that we can't enjoy the joy of ve veg vegetables and, yeah. and fruits in their natural form that we want to make sure that we have meat in our, in our, uh, in our recipes all the time. Yeah. So it's just a, a trial and error type situation where you just go through a couple of different um, proteins and different uh, oh. um, dishes and items that can actually work. But chickpeas are by far yes. the most versatile. So what I'd normally do with my chickpeas, I'll season them. I'll actually put like nice spices like your paprika on there. I'll put some um, cayenne pepper if I want some heat on there. And then I just put mm -hmm. them on the, on the roast and I roast them a bit. So mm. they're very versatile and they actually taste very, very good. Mm. And I think to spruce up like a vegetarian, dish is also like the heat, like you're saying. Yes. I love a chili or a sriracha. Yes. I've got like extra sauces now in my cupboard suddenly, <laughs> like um, special sauces that I buy and I just use a little bit of it. But I need that now mm. because just to Oh, I love that. Well, speaking about being versatile in the kitchen, on social media, we have posed the question. You know, I want to find out, if you were to wake up a billionaire tomorrow in South Africa, what would be the very first thing that would be on your menu? What's for breakfast? Use that hashtag Afternoon Express in all of your comments. Now, I know I was saying, no, Anneli, can I steal your answer? No, it's my answer. Okay, Anneli, what would you enjoy if you were to wake up as a billionaire tomorrow? I will enjoy whatever's on the private plane. <laughs> <laughs> whatever's 
but they serve, them. but they definitely must serve some champagne. <laughs> I love that. I, you know, my answer is exactly the same. As I'm jetting off to a private island that I've just purchased in my private jet, it's whatever they're serving on the flight. <laughs> but South Africa, I'm looking forward to hearing your answers. Now, how far are we in this delicious meal? We're looking very good. Our chicken breast uh, is looking really good. We've got one really flat one that I'm going to cut now. So the other thing that is very important, and I'm sure everyone knows when it comes to chicken, you always want to cook it through. Yeah. Unlike our red meats where you can have it medium, you can have it medium rare, the chicken, the pork must always be cooked through. Otherwise, you have a high risk of salmonella and nobody wants to get sick. Yeah. And the one thing about salmonella is that it's so bad that it could kill you. So you oh, want to wow. make sure that your, 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 um, your chicken is cooked through all the way to... Uh, like it must... The, the way to get it is to make sure the juices run clear. Okay. So as soon as your juices run clear, you know your chicken is cooked and ready to go. I flatten always my chicken breast, like you, you know what I'm saying, yes, because it just yes. cooks it nicely. Yes. And the thing is about a chicken breast, you must never overcook it, otherwise yes. it's dry. Yeah. You don't like a dry right. chicken breast. Now, yeah. Nelly, how's the salsa going on that um, side? Yes, so I'm doing a salsa here. Um, I'm, I've just added some pears into my um, wow. cabbage salsa. Just to make it, just for a bit of a crunch there and some lemon and yeah. Delicious. That's an interesting combination. <laughs> We're but adding it, pears to the salsa. salsa. Yes. I think it is cool. <laughs> Leveling up on uh, all the flavors. Now today, it's all about the freshness. It's all about the natural flavors in the kitchen. We're making sure that whether you want to be on a health tip or slowly incorporate more healthy elements within your menu, today is something that you definitely want to pay attention to. So just head over to our Afternoon Express social media platforms or of course our website. Use that hashtag Afternoon Express and who knows you can be sharing in all of the healthiness here in the kitchen. Now, after the break, Dumi, I know we're going to be continuing with the same menu, yes. the same ingredients, but just moving on to part two. Yes, so basically after the break, we should be able to then start assembling our dishes together so people actually see what we're talking about when we say the vegan bowl and the spicy chicken bowl. Delicious. All of that coming up. 